my current project and um, the one that I just did, and she was just asking me how I wanted to, like, what I'm going to plan, like, what my plan is this week, so. Which platform are you in at the moment? Is he? Uh, strategy and Identity. So. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's very good for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 actually i i follow your uh instagram page i think you are really good in that platform <laughs> yeah it's very helpful <laughs> and you are on are you in narrative and voice no i'm in time and movement wow okay what? yeah i thought that you would be in narrative and voice i thought like that is just like yeah i actually couldn't really I don't know, find a way of uh, saying what I wanted to say with illustrations. Yeah. So, Seven. yeah, basically, when I was in Artive and Voice, I just uh, uh, started making films there. So I thought maybe I should actually move to the Time and Movement platform because uh, if that way, um, I don't know, is the way that I can express better than... I should try and this is yeah, actually going okay like i was a bit scared at the beginning you know with oh, the yeah, editing yeah 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 so nice finding like uh i don't know when you just find your groove especially this is the good time to be like finding somewhere where you belong because it's the last year so yeah yeah um okay Shall we start? Well, actually, I am not really prepared for this because uh, I was in the middle of cooking dinner. <laughs> um, uh, I just wanted to basically ask you some questions about your experience of being a, not being a student only, like uh, having to work and what it means for you, what are the difficulties with yeah. that. Uh, um, I don't know, and maybe if you can tell me a little bit of uh, your story, like even what you were saying before, um, in the audio chart like i don't know if you want maybe i can start me saying a little bit of my experience and then uh you can tell me about your if it can help or if you can if you just want to say whatever you want uh, go ahead and just ask me questions so we can you know like yeah what's best for you and we'll, we'll figure it out yeah yeah so for example um um I mean, just my story and how I I um, found myself in this position. Like, you know, I came here from Italy when I was uh, uh, maybe 19. And then I started working in uh, like hospitalities, pubs, restaurants and places like that. So at some point I decided to become a student. Uh, but uh, when I came here, I had already made the choice of uh, being uh, um, independent from my family um so then i couldn't go back uh, uh, asking them for like some money or stuff like that uh, so like this is how i um found myself uh, uh in this situation and um i think one of the hardest thing of uh, uh having to study um and work at the same time is for example um the fact that you never have a day off uh, I don't know if you find this as well, uh, but uh, oh, I'm at work, or oh, I'm at uni, but I never kind of have a day in which I say, today I do nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, for me, I'm really lucky in that I have a job where I can work from home because mm. I'm a designer, um, but I'm like extremely fortunate in that I have a long-term client so I've been working with my like my client for like a year and a half and there is work to be made all of the time uh the only difficulty is that sometimes they forget that you are a student and I do have work to do from my course so that I can pass and I can graduate um because the nature of of my job is that a lot of things are like short notice and they might have an event and then they need they need something done or they need promotion uh design to be made so it's it, i mean it is really difficult and i think because i'm doing graphic design in my job and i'm doing graphic design for my course i'm always on the computer so i find it very hard to shut off um you know because my hours are like work on things at different times I do try and kind of block my day out so I wake up at a certain time I have some tea then I'll be working and then I try and take a break for lunchtime sometimes I just don't depending on how much I have to do but it, it's that night time especially with the pandemic like working from home and your home being your office it just 
the hours kind of creep away and before you know it you're working till 7 8 9 p.m and then you have to kind of switch off at some point so that you can rest but then sometimes your mind is always thinking about what's the next thing that you have to do so for me that is that is my biggest struggle with like as much as it is a pain to go and physically you know commute to an office it is nice to have that space because then when you go home you associate your home with relaxation and winding down yeah i think actually we all experience that uh, now in the pandemic uh, like uh, because we have to do so much from home uh, there is that feeling of uh, like you mix uh, your work and uh, everything else like you do everything at home so you can't you can't close your laptop you can't do that uh, even like i know like my job is more physical so i work in a coffee shop uh, but for example um because i am a kind of um, um i have a kind of supervisor position i have many documents and things to look at uh, and i would do that at work uh, before while now i do everything at home and i always have things coming through mm-hmm. so yeah and how many hours uh, um, a week do you work? I mean, do you have like a... Um... It does depend. Um, I just... Oh, it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. No, but in terms of... I, I was working a lot. I mean, throughout... The second I finished um, our last academic year, so my second year of uni, I started working for someone full time. So I was doing design for my other job and I was doing uh, design for this guy and I was working every single day from nine till five um and then i would have the weekends but then i would have to try and fit my other job in um but then obviously now that i'm back at uni i've like said that i cannot do that much like that is too much for me i need time to do my work so i'm saying maybe one or two days of the week um i'm focusing on my job um although i'm pretty sure if they had it their way i would be working way more (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I find that as well, because, for example, um, at my work, they always try to get me to work extra hours and things like that. Yeah. But uh, we do kind of have to limit uh, the days that we dedicate to work uh, compared to the one that we uh, use for uni. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so um, you said you're getting a um, maintenance loan. Is that is that right? Yes, yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah. So could you, could you um, be like only a student? I mean, could you live without the work that you do or... Um... To be honest, um, I could yeah. if I wanted to, but I don't, I just really don't enjoy putting myself in a position because I like to, I'm trying to save money because I, you know for me ideally i would like to be living in my own space but obviously rent in london is crazy expensive so i am using my job to pay for like bills and like direct debits so that i can save majority of my maintenance loan so that i can move out um at the end of my third year and i kind of got that like head start before i find you know a job because i'm gonna have to find you know a job that I make a little bit more money now when I graduate. So to make up for my maintenance loan that I've been getting or won't be getting when I graduate. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but for the long term, it's not wise, you know. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I didn't get a loan uh, myself, for example. Like being kind of worried of having to... Uh, have too many things to pay back uh, already if you think about the cost of uni I don't know it does kind of scare me <laughs> that huge number <laughs> like um told myself not to worry about it uh, yeah things that I'll be up in the night and I'll be oh my god I owe tens of pounds <laughs> oh, I know I know I have to pay my goodness um but I just try and kind of put it in a box and keep it far away from my mind right now because I know that that's not something that's going to happen immediately that's going to happen with time and it, it will be in small amounts um also I should hope it will be a small yeah. amount yeah 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 uh do you think uh that your work somehow has affected your social life uh, like I don't know maybe because you had to work you couldn't uh, um go out with some friends or I don't know um 
spend some quality time with uh, your partner as well or I don't know yeah yeah um I mean between us we we were, I mean me and my partner are kind of parallel um in that he's but he, he's only one year above me so he's graduated now but we were both doing graphic design we both work graphic design jobs and he works full-time um I'm working part-time but I'm also a full-time student and it's it's hard because um, there are nights where I'm up till two, three in the morning doing work um, to, to make sure that I'm meeting deadlines. Um, and he has to go to sleep because he has work. So he can't wait up for me. Um, and, you know, by the time I finish my uni work and my job, I'm so tired that I don't want to socialise with people. I don't want to, I don't want to go out. Like, I, sometimes I force myself to because I'm like, if I don't leave the house, I'm never going to have a social life. I'm going to become depressed. But... A lot of the time, like, I do stay in the house because I'm just trying to conserve energy. <laughs> yeah. It definitely does have an effect on social life. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I find the same because uh, there are some days, uh, well, at the moment I'm on holiday, for example, because I get to use my holiday um, before the end of the year. But, uh, um, like, a couple of weeks ago, I had to work, like, 40 hours. Uh, and uh, I was like, I am not doing anything else if not going to work uh, go home eat and sleep uh, i actually didn't even have any time uh, for uni and obviously not to meet any other people yeah so yeah um what other question uh should i ask you do you think that the fact that you have a work affect your grades or your attendance at uni um it hasn't for to me and being a very very organized person mm. in, like time management I really do try and like compartmentalize things so that I you know n nothing is blurring I will say though there has been times where I have sat in lectures and been doing my job in the lecture because mm. the death be met and I, I have to be here physically so I, I can't I have to do both um I I'm happy to say that it hasn't ever affected my grades yet, so hopefully that never changes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's been hard though to, to make sure that I'm working to the best of my ability in both aspects of my life. That's difficult, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, in my case, I can say that I don't think that the work has affected my grades to be honest, uh, but um, many times I had to bring uni at work, uh, like, yeah. yeah, like, I don't know, I had to add a meets chat while I was at work and stuff like that, uh, because there wasn't any other option. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, this is something for me, I don't know, is there, is there, um, Anything else uh, that, I don't know, um, that you think is important to say um, about being a student that needs to work as well? I don't know, any concern, any other things that uh, worries you? Um, in, I mean, I don't know, specifically being a student who's um, economically independent, um, I mean, like I said, I've been really fortunate in that I'm doing a job that is directly related to the course that I'm on. And I think that is something I wish a lot of, you know, my peers were able to experience um, because for me, they do go hand in hand. So if there is a tiny bit of like crossover, it's, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, and my job in, in most instances it says like, helps me develop as a designer so I'm um, I've definitely become a you know my work has been positively impacted by my job uh, but in terms of I think there is there is a pressure for a lot of students that have to work um, as much as I would love to say I quit and I just want to solely focus on my course um, and my degree I, I can't like I, I it's not an option for me so it, it does feel there are moments that are very high pressure and, and stressful for me, um, especially around, you know, like dead, deadlines and stuff. But 
I mean, in terms of concerns specifically, I mean, I'm not sure. What, what about you? Like, what do you what do you think? Well, I'm not sure. Well, for me, actually, um, one of the things that I uh, found is that um, uh, lots of time, I think I haven't been able to um, take on uh, opportunities uh, um, offered by the uni or also uh, opportunities of uh, um, meeting uh, with other people because of, uh, um, because of work reason. Like, yeah. I don't know, um, maybe it's quite different for you because as you said, you have uh, a job that you can do, maybe like you can arrange it uh, in the time that you want to. But for me, there are like specific hours that I have to be at work. Uh, and most of them they include Friday, Saturday and Sundays. Uh, so many times I haven't been able to, I don't know, just make friends uh, and stay with, uh, with other people because of mm -hmm. that. Uh, or even when we had some group works to do, I, I don't know, some people, they are, I would say, little organized and they always do the work of the Sunday evening, you know? Yeah, and it's not an option. Exactly. These things, uh, I don't know, I can try as much as I can uh, to do that. But not all the situations are in your control, you know? If, and it's, it's really hard when you're doing group work. Um, Everyone at uni has got a different schedule that they have to they have to follow. Um, yeah, really hard to, to align them when you're working because. Yeah. And do you know what? Actually, now that you're um, you mentioned it, I do think that there is definitely. Um, I feel like, and I mean, in reference to a friend of mine who uh, wanted to get a job. I mean, Angie. She's both our friends. Oh yeah. She, she wanted to get a job and it was related to what she wants to do so in terms of um videography and she was going to work uh for this lady and you know the second she mentioned it to the uni they weren't very empathetic and this is the thing as much as i uh, would all love to just uh you know rely on a loan to get us through um to get us through uni like we can't and we some of us do have to work and i don't think that that is um that is met with a lot of like empathy and understanding by by the university um you know and i get that we are full-time students and we do have a a duty to you know attend but the reality is we're also adults and sometimes it feels like when we mention work uh, it's it's kind of that the teachers don't really understand or they don't really care but they're also adults who have to work as well, you know, so they should understand a bit more, like, this is, this is it, this is the reality, like, we do, not all of us have rich parents that can pay our way through, <laughs> like, this is, this is what we have to do, we, we have to, some of us have to be independent, some of us cannot just not go to work. So actually in that in that case uh, I think the thing has been handled really badly by the university because uh, um well I personally know Angie so I think I can say that she's been trying uh, um hard uh, to change uh, the type of profession she does uh, and when the opportunity came uh, um there wasn't any uh, support uh, I mean and I wish there was. They they already know how difficult it is uh, to find uh, a job. Uh, I mean, into this uh, um, into graphic design, you know, and especially something that you like, uh, not any kind of job. And um, I don't know, but yeah, there wasn't uh, um, any help or any intention to help. Yeah, that. so something the university can work on because, you know with the current um economic status of this country in you know specifically uh i mean we are like we, we have to work um and it's not just a part-time job that we're doing just to get through university for some of us our, this is our job that we, we're going to stay on you know the degree is going to come and go but that job we still have to work there that's true so, this is absolutely true because even if I think about my job, which is not the best job, but, but that is the only um, economic uh, certainty that I have. So I don't have really um, 
time uh, to, I don't know, maybe look for an internship or stuff like that. No, no time. Like, um, I can't really afford uh, to look for an unpaid internship in certain situations yeah. because uh, how can I do that uh, if I'm not paid for what I do? I like, we have to pay at the end of the day. Um, and as much as everyone would love to have a job within the industry, we know that that comes with uh, potentially, you know, like you said, unpaid internships, which aren't. That's just not. That's not an option. That's not an option for everybody. And I think. Um, I think some students are, I don't think looked down on, but they are met with a lack of support um, yeah. Yeah. when they met, they have to work or they can't come into university because they have to work and there's no other day that they, they can't just change the day they work or get someone to cover their shift. Um, I don't know, there's just, a, there's a different, there's a kind of like, the vibe feels a bit different between you and the tutor if you mention that. Yeah. I don't, noticed it or if you've ever seen someone else speak to the tutor about I have to work this day, I can't come in it, they just kind of act a little bit differently I don't know, maybe try it one day <laughs> yeah. No, it's true, actually sometimes they picture us like lazy maybe or that we are not that ambitious, ambitious. Well, I'm Teenagers to them um, but actually not all of us are so <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree Yeah, yeah Okay, thank you. Uh, I think it was a very good conversation. Definitely. Yeah. Um, well, my questions are actually finished. I'm gonna stop. Get certain opportunities or you need qualifications. Um, but in order to get experience, to get that job they're saying that you need experience and it's just like how do you get your foot in the door you know yeah. like and if you never work and you, you don't work you've got nothing to put on your cv uh you've got nothing to really show for yourself in the working world um because sometimes it just isn't enough being a student you know so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that is downside to, to not working as well mm. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Brittany, for helping me with this. Yeah, no worries. Let me know if you need anything else. That's fine. I will. Thank you. And yeah. No, have a nice evening. Thank you, you too. Good luck with your project. Thank you. Bye.